counterbalance and see just measure the weight you need exactly the way you need and here is the analytical balance you get the four digit numbers after the point for the precise mass this is the old version the russian abroca version <laughs> and this is the modern the newest type electronic very very simple you just put your material from here you close it to give you what you want but in this case you have to do a lot of winding you can see with a lot of this big book <laughs> I'm <gonna knock> you. <laughs> Illustrate this. Um, yeah, this is refrigerator. Uh, is it refrigerator? <laughs> it's not refrigerator. Uh, how do you call it? The gas refrigerator. This should be a, a chimney or something like that. You know, when you're working in the lab, so many chemicals and other and other things come out. So you have to take this out from the laboratory, evacuate it so that you can't get choked inside. And you keep acids, um, bases, very strong ones inside this area. You don't need to. Why other reagents? You keep reagents here. You can see the reagents here. You test in conical flasks. And here you have your beakers. This funnel. This beaker. These pipettes. Can you tell me what is this? This blue color. Okay. That's it. Illustrate this. Uh, this um. You can see for drying, for drying um, uh, textiles um. Right and vacuum glasses. And in the street, though, it's for purifying water. Aqua purificate. For purifying water. You know, here we have um, hard water. And in order, the water, the minerals in the water influence your reaction. So you need very pure water. That you can use for reactions that it will not interfere in your results. So we use this to clean the water. Clean, clean, clean the water. Even distillation water. Yeah. The best students here in the university. You can see them. 